Hello for the book quester, it is I, Aaron the book quester. Today I'm going to book quester the first book of the most best series that I love, the Heroes of Olympus, book one, The Lost Hero, Rick Riordan, the number one bestseller, Return to Percy Jackson's World. Welcome back, guys, and so we're gonna get right on to it. The main characters, Jason, Piper, and Leo. Jason, Praetor of, of New Rome, and the son of Jupiter. Piper and Celine, or Macbeth, I don't, I don't really care. She is the daughter of Aphrodite, and she can charm speak, which is an enchanting magic that can make you follow whatever she says, at least for a while. And Leo Valdez, the fireboy, son of Hepatus, who is immune to flames, an excellent craftsman, and ADHD, but can summon fire and shoot fire in his hands. Damn! And these three awesome cues uh, start with the, start their little thing on a bus. Jason doesn't remember anything. He feels like he was just born at that moment when he was just sitting on the bus. And he's like, what? Where am I? Who am I? And he only knew his name, Jason. And he knew that his coin was a weapon. And so, Jason, Grace, uh, he doesn't know who he, he is with. And Piper and Leo thinks he has been with them for a couple months. But... That's all some particular godness is doing. And you will get right on to that a bit later. So, and then wind spirits try to attack them because demigods are always chased by, you know, monsters. And then the, the coach who, uh, who was in the bus said, Get out of here! And then he got, he brandished his kacho. And he was like, What the? And then she, she pushed off his shoes. And they saw Goatee Hooves, and he was Coach Gleason Hedge, Protector, Seeker, Satar of Camp Half Blood. An emergency signal was sent, and, uh, and a great amount, and, uh, and two demigods, but from the Iris Cabin, and Annabeth Chase, daughter of Athena from the, well, Athena, Athena Cabin. And together they rescued the three demigods. And Jason found out that he was the son of Jupiter, and that his coin was a weapon, and also that he could fly. Why his coin was a weapon? If you flip this coin, it landed on heads, it'll turn into a sword. If you flip this coin, it landed on long, uh, on tails, it would be, become a gladius thing, that's a longer sword. And then, and he can summon lightning, he can fly, and he's awesome, he's kick-ass. And... It's really, really great. And Jason, Piper, and Leo, they have to go on a quest. The quest to save the Queen of the Heavens. Hera, or slash Juno, in her Roman form. And so they need to rescue her. If she falls, Poppy Huron, the, the bane of Zeus, son of Gaia, shall rise. And when he rises, the world shall fall. Can Leo, Piper, and Jason stop the giant before it's too late? Gotta read the book. I mean, I'm not gonna spoil everything because it's such a great book. And I'm just gonna read my favorite part. That's when... That's when this dude... That's when Jason um, introduces himself. And he... Uh, I think this is, this is here. Um, uh, I think it's here. Mm -hmm. Here it is. I am the son of Jupiter, shouted Jason, and just for the effect, he summoned the winds, riding, rising a few feet off the ground. I am a child of Rome, consul of the demigods, 
Fighter of the First Legion. He's held out his arm, showing the tattoo of the eagle and spore, and to his and S P Q R. And to his surprise, the giant seemed to recognize it. For a moment, Fafi Hirion actually looked uneasy. I slew the Trojan sea monster, Jason continued. I toppled the black throne of Cronus and destroyed the Titan Cryos with my own hands. And now I'm gonna destroy you, Poppy Huron, and feed you to your own wolves. And it's really cool how he announces himself because all of these things are true and he's a true hero. And Leo, he's like, Whoa, dude. You've been eating red meat or something? I mean, it's a great book. And in some books, uh, the Gaia spelling is different. The Earth Mother, you see, is the main villain in the series. And Gaia, it says Gaia. G-A-I-A -A in this book. But in some other versions, it says, I think, G-A-E-A. -A, Gia. I don't know. I don't know why Rick Riordan wrote two versions of Gaia, but it was the same story, but I don't know, but I think I like Gaia better because it sounds way cooler than Gia, you know what I mean? So thank you guys for watching, and like always, the book quester and the book quester.